just some preliminary specs on SupportWorks, what actually is entailed within the SupportWorks package, what you get when you purchase SupportWorks. And then we'll do a quick demonstration, uh, basically uh, everything from start to finish, how to use SupportWorks itself, uh, how it gets installed and set up, and then uh, the out of the box stuff when it comes to Isogen custom symbols and detail sketches. So one of the, the great things about SupportWorks is that whenever you ISO out any of these supports, they, uh, they look complete in the isometric itself. They've got a very nice custom symbol that details that geometry. And then there's a detail sketch, which you can also apply uh, to the isometric. So it, it gives you more detail about that support than rather than what's in the 3D model itself. So uh, talking about support work specs, uh, support works is a, it's delivered as a uh, CalWorks PRJ. Uh, there's 91 support components out of the box and there's 20 support groups. So we'll, we'll take a look at what comes out of the box with CalWorks and compare, but uh, this is a more complete offering of the types of supports that you might use on a project for piping. Uh, everything's based on just dimensional standards and common steel shapes. So any kind of uh, typical pipe support standard, which you would come across in the industry, that's what we've modeled support works on top of. So it's gonna be very, um, very common for a lot of people to use basically is, is what our intention was. Uh, every, like I've said before, every support has a custom isogen symbol. So there's a, um, a ASC file we'll talk about, which you can use with your uh, isogen style if you want, or you can use the one that we're delivering within SupportWorks, which is already set up and ready to go. All you have to do is hit the go button. And all the supports have detail sketches as well. And there's a nice uh, glossary of all the sketches. So if you're not familiar with what sketches we're actually pulling up, uh, we'll show it to you as well. Yeah, that's that's the offering. So I'm going to go through just some preliminary set, setup uh, to start and just describe what's in the actual deliverable for support works. And then we'll get into some uh, CADWorks piping and drop some ISOs so you can see how it works. So I'll go into the demonstration. And like Joe said, if you guys have any questions while we go through the demo itself, uh, feel free to just put it in the chat window. And uh, at the end, I'll just leave some time open for questions. All right, so the first thing is just installing SupportWorks. How do you get at the, the content that we're delivering? So SupportWorks is gonna be delivered just as an executable file, and you'll click on it, and with the actual installer, you'll have a serial number that will deliver with you, with it as well. So you just put in your credentials, you put in the serial, and you click install, and then it installs, and that's it. If you don't have admin rights, you might need that just to run this installer. So once it's installed, the actual support directory is located under Works Catalogs 2017 Works Pipe Support Catalog. And uh, let's describe a couple of the files that are located in here. So there's a directory for that's called ISO. This is where the embedded isogen style is located. Uh, it's just a, a very easy style that you can connect to if you want to see the detail sketches and the, uh, the custom symbols come out of the, the supports that you drop with support works. Uh, there's a config file in here, so that makes it very easy to just connect to this directory and then connect to the, the project file that contains all the supports. Uh, this pipe support directory contains a lot of the custom blocks that we're using for support works, as well as uh, some reference guides to better for you to better understand what is the content that's within support works itself. So there's a an EC design pipe support directory PDF. And if I go down here, there should be a, yep, there's a support works detail sketches PDF as well. So I've got those PDFs open uh, just for your reference. The reference guide, what's contained within this guide is basically a, a detailed uh, listing of all the detail sketches dimensional data, as well as just some brief overviews of what's included within support works and how to connect to this uh, directory with CADWorks itself. So the, the documentation is very uh, straightforward and complete. You won't have to worry about how do I get to all the data that I've just uh, uh, brought in with support works. It's all there and, and very uh, clearly referenced. All the detail sketches you can see, all the data is here as well for everything. So that's the first uh, PDF. The second one is uh, just a listing of all the actual detail sketches themselves. Uh, every detail sketch has an associated uh, what's called 
a S key or a symbol key, and that allows you to use a um, use that associated to key or assign it with um, with the Isogen project settings to to make it look just look a little more detailed when it comes out in Isogen. So uh, there's yep, there's like uh, five pages of that. You can look at them for your reference, and uh, everything else out of the box is just uh, drawing files. So that's how it gets installed. That's what's in there. Let's go into plant next, and we'll show how to connect to it. So I've got plant open here, and just a typical uh, drawing file that uh, we'll, we'll just drop some supports on with support works so you can see how it works. On my left-hand side, I've got the CADWorks pipe support view. I'm not connected to support works yet. I just wanted to open up the default introspects PRJ so you can see what's delivered within that. And this is the stuff that you're probably used to seeing uh, right now. There's two subdirectories, pipe supports and elbow supports. And it's kind of a, a general uh, you know, sample data right, for supports that you get out of the box. Let's connect to support works so you can see what it looks like uh, with, with that offering. So to connect to a PRJ, you can connect to a config file. So I'm going to go to setup here on CadWorks plant one. And then we're going to load the config file for support works. So on the lower right hand side, I'll click on load. And then the directory is where support works installed. We just did that. So I'm going to go to EC Design Works Catalogs 2017. And then go to pipe supports and pipe supports config. So then once you're connected and if you don't know if you're connected or not, you can go to config settings. You should see that config file popping up. Then you can go to spec size and then browse, and your browse window will go directly to that PRJ file where the supports are located. So I'll click that. You'll notice that there's one spec here, spec one, that's uh, within support works. You can kind of ignore that spec one. Um, it's just added in to provide just um, a pipe and elbows as reference for dropping the support work supports. But I'm just going to select that and click apply and close. Uh, pipe supports are actually um, spec agnostic. You don't have to have your pipe supports within a CADWorks specification file. But uh, that's, that's what that spec one is there for. So now that I'm connected, uh, now I need to open up the pipe support palette again. So I'll go to my palettes. I'll go to the little uh, anchor. Actually, it's a pin symbol. but I'll click on that. And here is support works. So 20 sections, 91 different supports. I'll pop open a couple of these so you can see the, the content inside. And then let's talk about what's within here. Then we'll drop a couple and ISO them out. So uh, the way that it's organized is uh, basically by type. So uh, if it's dimensionally just a U-bolt, then it's under the U-bolts category. And there's multiple different types of U-bolt uh, type supports. It could be just a standard U-bolt by itself. There could be a protective shield with that U-bolt. That U-bolt could have a cradle. Uh, it, it's really dependent on, first, what is the, the primary dimensional type? How are you restraining the pipe? And then it's just um, secondary categories. For example, for pipe shoes, they are based on these typical categories. So you've got, first off, what type of pipe shoe is it? Uh, then you've got the, the height of the shoe. Then it's basically, how is it connected? Is it welded or is it bolted? Or is it a clamp on? And then is it freestanding? Is it with a guide? Is it anchored? Or is it a directional anchor? All of these different types, it's not just the uh, name of the support that's unique. It's the actual dimensional qualities of the support that are different. So there's lots of different categories for you, for you here to, to basically get what you want out of uh, out of support works. Let's uh, let's drop a couple and then we'll run an isometric off those supports. So if you're not familiar with dropping pipe supports in CadWorks, uh, here's how you do it. You just click on the actual name itself and then you pick on your pipe, and then you have to pick a distance and then a direction. I'm going to do something like a pipe stanchion here. I'm going to target this line here. This is a 12 inch uh, line. Uh, let's see, U-bolt with stanchion. Pick your insertion point. Uh, NEA is a quick way to do your near snap. I just want to use that type of snap to make sure I'm on my line. This is the pipe support data that it's pulling from. I'll just click OK. And then I pick where on the line I want to drop the support. So just to make sure my snap doesn't get 
uh, in the way. And actually, I don't see the snap, so I'll just click it. Uh, I could do the midpoint here. I'll do MID. Right, now it's right in the mid. And then the direction. So if I had a bottom here, if I actually had uh, given myself a plane that I could connect this to, uh, we are these are set up in a manner where you can detect steel or concrete and then have this automatically drop down to that level. Right now, I'm just going to click down in space uh, just to accept that connection. And then I'll give it that same parent line number as whatever this line was, because I want this support to actually ISO out with the line. So I need to do this step. I have layer by line number turned on. So the actual pipe support itself uh, is colored based off that line number. And let's take a look at that support that, got, that just got dropped in. So uh, pretty standard stuff here. The long description is just enough content to let you know what type of support it is. When it comes to the isogen data that's behind the support, that's where things get a little unique. So if I click on isogen, uh, these are the things that typically aren't filled out whenever you use the, the standard supports that you're used to. The first thing is the S key here. This tells the program what kind of custom symbol to use in Isogen. Uh, it's a custom one that we've defined as PS15. And then the sketch category here, that'll actually call out a detail sketch on the isometric itself uh, that's right next to the graphic for the isometric. So let's drop a couple more supports, and then we'll take a look at both of these. I'm going to click OK, click OK again. I'll go back to my model. Uh, let's do something like, uh, I want to do something unique that you guys probably haven't seen before. Let's do something like a protective shield. That's something that you typically don't see as a support type. Uh, drop that in. Exact copy. That's what a protective shield looks like. There's also a 180-degree um, shield. There's also a double shield we can use with some supports. Uh, let's do something like a riser clamp next. So pipe clamp. clamp. I'll do a near insertion again. I know someone's going to say these supports don't go there, but I, I know that. I'm just trying to drop a couple in so you guys can see. Anyways, uh, so I've got three support work supports that I've dropped in, and now I want to ISO out. So out of the box, like I said before, you've got this isometric style that we're delivering with support works. If you want to connect to that style, here's how to do it. You go to the isogen section on your ribbon. You click this little gear icon. This opens up iConfigure. iConfigure is the tool from 2016 on in CADWorks that we use to connect to isometric styles. So over here in the upper left, you can see I've got a couple styles I'm connected to already. Here's what you want to do if you want to connect to what we're delivering out of the box with SupportWorks. So you click this little fourth icon here. It's got like a, a green folder. This is to connect to an existing isometric directory. So you go to the works catalogs, uh, go to 2017, go to your works pipe supports catalogs, go to ISO, and you want to click on this guy right here, the project list.xml. Once you click that and you click open, that's it. You're connected. Then you can use the embedded style that we've got within this ISO directory, which is just called ECE-supports to drop supports out with the custom symbols and with the custom detail sketches. So I've already done that, so I won't go to that step and won't click open. It's already connected there, EC supports. Let me go ahead and hit the minimize button, and that's it. I'm ready to ISO out. So I'm going to use my IGO command to isogen out. It works with isogen batch too. I'm just doing an ISO out on one line, so I'm using IGO. You can also click the icon in the ribbon as well to ISO out. So uh, it's looking at all my styles, and it's going to pull up that dialog for me to pick the style. Just waiting for this thing to load. So after a cup of coffee, this comes back. And then you can pick your directory. Make sure it's selected to the one within the EC Design Works catalogs. So that's where the style's at. Click. There's only one project, and there's only one style. So make sure you're uh, focused on that style itself. So uh, 
There's no, nothing you have to do in settings, just click OK. I'm going to ISO out by line number, and then I'm going to say select component. That means whatever component I click, anything with the same line number is going to ISO out. So all of this is the same line number, and I, I made sure that the line number was present on all these support entities. So I'm just going to pick on that line, and then it's going to run isogen. So no errors, that's a good sign. Uh, here's one drawing file that got exported, so I'll open the plot files next. All right, I'm gonna zoom in this, on this guy just so you can see the custom symbols that we're dropping in, uh, and then we'll take a look at the detail sketches as well. But if you're familiar with Isogen, uh, this part might be a little bit unique to you. Uh, this is the, the part where we're dropping in those detail sketches themselves. I'm gonna zoom in on this guy. So this is our first uh, U-bolt type support that got dropped in. So it says C detail A. So that's uh, that tells us what detail sketch we want to drop to or go to. This is our second support. This was the protective shield. You can see it's got a nice custom symbol there for the protective shield itself. Uh, this was our stanchion support, I believe, and it says C detail B. So that's this the second or the third support that we're dropping in. The style itself is. Uh, pretty straightforward. It's just set up to only D dimension two supports itself. And you can see we're just using a, a border that just says ECE design. We'll get into customization next, but um, just a little bit about that style and how it's represented. I'm going to zoom in on these uh, details just so you can take a look at what, what they look like. There's uh, So there's two details, uh, the red A and the B. Those are dynamic based on how many supports you're actually dropping on one isometric. So if you're dropping three or four unique supports, it's going to go A, B, C, D based on the type of supports you have. And then uh, the PS2601 and the PS3703, that's the actual name of these detail sketches in the support works directory. So if you wanted to go to this sketch itself and make some modifications, you would just open up ps26-01.dwg and you can make changes. And then whenever you ISO out with that support, you would see that new, new change on the detail sketch. You'll notice that there's figures here too that we're calling out. So these figures themselves are actually present uh, within the uh, reference guide that we gave you. So all these are calling out uh, figures, figure 261, figure 97, and so on. So the figure is nice because that tells you the dimensional data that goes with that actual uh, portion of that support. Yeah, that's uh, so that's kind of how you get to this point. Uh, everything's meant to be very easy to use and out of the box. Uh, and it makes a pretty nice image as well on the isometric. It looks a little bit better than just the, uh, like the two dash symbol that comes with supports typically. So. There's a lot more in support works than what I've shown you so far, but that's just a, a brief overview of a couple different types of unique supports you can get out of the program. Uh, let's talk about customization and how you can make support works your own. So I'm gonna close this guy. Uh, everything here is meant to be modular, right? So you can take portions of this PRJ and then transfer it to your own PRJ is what we assume people would wanna do. And then everything that's connected to this directory as well, the detail sketches and the symbol files, you can also connect to those. Uh, and we've got some reference guides that will help you understand how to do exactly that. So I, I'm going to show you a couple files that we put together just on the help side that will uh, lead you towards the path of knowing how to, how to customize support works. So I'm going to open up my browser here. So the first thing we put together is just, uh, if you don't like watching videos, we, we've got a, a nice little manual that's set up. And it's very straightforward, just how do you install, how do you set up the CADWORK side, how do you set up the Isogen side? So everything here is, it will direct you towards exactly what you need to do just to um, install support works and, and customize it. 